Hey, my name is Frank, and this is what we did last night. So we started off our night with our normal Spotify playlist, but we also did, as I talked about last video, um, where I made all the students take kind of funny selfies throughout the church. I, I used my Insta player that I mentioned last week, which I'm going to link below, to display all the selfies um, that we took last week onto our, our, our projector, our, on our screen, um, as they walked into our youth room. So when they walked in, they got to see the, 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 the hundreds of selfies that were taken last week. They were on the screen going back and forth as they were hanging out, talking, playing basketball, and doing all those type of things. So it was a fun uh, uh, way as they were walking and hanging out to see all the fun pictures from last week. So check out the Insta player. So for camp this year, we're going to student life camp over in Texas. And, uh, and, and they are great at providing tons of media and videos and, and posters to promote your events. So what I did is I took one of their funnier videos about, um, about recreation at camp and, and used it as our countdown video. And our kids were laughing because the guy was just saying absurd stuff throughout the whole video. So I'll link it below. But if you're going to Student Life, use the materials they give you because it's great quality and it'll take you zero time to use their stuff in your ministry. So check that out. And then we had two funny videos that we showed back to back. The first one is a video that someone in the youth men group uh, showed everybody. It's called... Um, Yawning looks like yelling, and it's hilarious. It's just people yawning. It's actually a commercial, I think, but it's people who are yawning, and they dub over, like, screams over it. And it's so, so funny. Listen, I, you have to watch. You have to use this video because it's guaranteed to make your whole youth group laugh. So check that out. And then the other video, the last funny video I did, is I actually kind of put together four videos that were just kind of small 30-second, 15-second clips, which I called it Megatron does not like to take selfies or do not ask for a selfie with Megatron. And I, I put it in the videos for student ministry, so I kind of already shared it earlier for a bunch of you guys. But it's basically people who go to Universal Studios in um, Hollywood and try to take a selfie with the Megatron um, character in Universal. And basically, he just makes fun of them the entire time, calling them 14-year-old girls. And the last of the video specifically, it's not even like as much as funny as it is, it's the truth, talking about how... Uh, stop wasting your time being narcissistic and putting on uh, your videos and pictures into a library that doesn't matter and do something with your life. It's, it's, it's hilarious yet kind of honest. So make sure you check out that video because it was personally one of my favorites of the week and our entire youth group loved it so much that they were sharing it on Twitter um, because they thought it was so funny. And make sure you check out that video and use it in your student ministry. For our first game, we played a game called Whack a Kid, which is just like, I don't know if there's a, a better name for this, but that's the name we've been using in our student ministry. And it's a classic game that we, we you, all you need is a bunch of chairs for everyone to sit in a circle. And then some like either table or what I use, a trash can and a, a half of a pool noodle. So this is how you play. You get everyone to sit in a big circle, right? And a pretty, we want it to be kind of fairly large, but, but still not so massive that people are sprinting long distances. And then when everyone's in the circle, you put something in the middle, like a, like a small table, maybe a chair, what we use. We use one of these giant trash cans. And this happens to be the mascot of the Arkansas Razorbacks. But you can just go to Walmart, find one of these giant, you know, however many gallons uh, trash cans. And what I do is I put it upside down in the middle of the circle. And then if you go to the dollar store, especially in the summer or Walmart, you can find pool noodles that are double this size. This is one cut in half for like a dollar or a couple dollars. And so I stock up in the summer because these tend to deteriorate over here and I just cut them in half. And then these are a great thing that you can hit people with and it, you barely feel it. It, doesn't, it just sounds a lot worse than it really feels. And so the rules are simple. Everyone's in a circle. There's a person in the middle and they have to grab the pool noodle and they have to pick someone in the circle. They hit them with the pool noodle, put it back on the middle of your trash can, whatever's in the middle, and they have to sit down before the other person who got hit stands up, grabs the pool noodle and hits them. And so if they get hit by the guy who they hit, then that person has to come back in the middle and do it again and pick someone else. Or if they whiff and they miss and the other person sits down before they get hit, then uh, the, the, the new, there's a new hitter in the middle. That might be a terrible way to explain the game. There's a link below to explain the game properly. Um, but it's a classic in our youth group. We love this game. If I can't think of a game to play, 
I know I can pick this game and the kids will love it. So two noodles and a trash can or some kind of platform table chair in the middle and then everyone sits in a circle. It's a great game and you can do it for a long time. Check it out. And then for our upfront um, door prize game, we played a game called Hmm and Hmm. You can find that in the Youthman store. It is, uh, it was a huge hit. The kids couldn't get enough of it. So what, what I ended up doing was picking two kids who haven't played the door prize game before, but, but no kind of music that's going on, right? Like they knows current pop hits. And so I had them come up and, and basically it's kind of like reverse charades, except instead of the people acting, they're humming really popular songs. So make sure you go to the Youthman store, pick it up. I think it's three bucks. And it is a game that's guaranteed to make your kids roll in laughter as well as be a huge hit because it's a group that everyone can play and it's a ton of fun. For worship, we did nothing but the blood, freedom reigns, and here's my heart. It was a great worship set. For our message, we talk about what it means to be authentic and what it means to be real. I talked about how on Instagram and Twitter, we we live in the only generation that that has everyone crops and edits and filters what goes out to others and that because of this um, constant editing of ourselves and our image, we don't have real communication with others. We don't have real relationships. We're not truly connected because no one really knows anything about each other. So I use that as a platform to talk about what it means to be real and and connected with each other without putting up filters and fronts and, and masks. And I used Moses putting on the um, the veil over his face as as an example of someone who um, put something as a filter to prevent the people from seeing what's really going on. If you know, what, if you want to know what I'm talking about specifically, read Second Corinthians three, where it says that that Paul says that Moses wasn't bold enough, so he puts a veil over his face so that people don't see the glory of his face fade away. And so it's an interesting perspective that Moses wasn't being honest with the people. And so he, so he filtered what the people could see. And I use that as a, as a, as a platform to talk about what does it mean to be authentic? What does it mean to be real? What does it mean to have true relationships that we're open with each other? It was a great night and uh, the students seemed to be receptive to the message. So unlike last week, we didn't do you on the Wednesday, uh, the meet, the groups for tonight, but next week we're going to do you on the Wednesday again. If you want to know what you on the Wednesday means, Watch last week's video where I, where I link to the resources and I explain what we do and what we mean by you on the Wednesday so that next week when we talk about what you on the Wednesday is again, you can uh, kind of already understand what we're talking about. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm also going to put in the bottom of this link because a lot of you guys have been asking asking me what is exactly my order of my service? Like, How do I time everything out? I have a, a video and a blog post about that on youthmen.org. So I'm going to link that below. And so you guys can see, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what we did last time, but also how we order it with exactly this, the, the right times. And I also give you a free resource where I show you um, how I order my service and I hand this little sheet of paper to all my leaders so they can follow along. Like, this is what's next. This is what's coming up. This is what we have to look forward to. So if you have any questions, let me know. Hit me up on Twitter. All right. See you guys later. God bless.